the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello. Gamer Nom is back. So for today's video, I am going to help this toad reach second C using the ice fruit. But not just that guys, we are also going to awaken this fruit. So are you ready? But before we start, I made a Twitter account for future announcements and giveaways. And also to show your support, you can use the star code Gamer Nom when purchasing your Robux. Okay guys, so we're gonna start grinding now. As you can see, just like the light fruit, this fruit has left clicks, has an ice sword. So we're gonna start with the bandits. I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna use combat to lure them. I'm just gonna use the ice sword. There you go. Now using ice shards, our first skill to damage them. Oh, the damage is kinda high, but you can use your left clicks to finish them. Okay, so now the goal here is to reach level 10. And after that, we are now ready to move on to our next island. But guys, I decided to grind here until I reach level 15. Why? For candies, right? Tip number one. Guys, you can use candies, right? To exchange for shards in the second C. So, if you're like resting from grinding, you can use this fruit to AFK. Use auto-click and you can get candies. I have a guide on that. I will put the link in the upper right part of this screen. Okay guys, so at level 15, what I did is I decided to go to the jungle. So you can start grinding monkeys here at 15 guys. Check this out. Logi effect. Very easy to grind or you can also do gorilla since you're level 15. So just lure 4, use your Z skill. By this time, you're not yet a uh, Logia. So there you go. At level 20, you can start the gorilla king. So high ground is our friend. Just use your Z skill and everything will be fine. Okay? We're also gonna unlock here the ice surge in this part of grinding phase so there you go use it the goal here is to reach level 30 so and after that we can now move on to our next island the pirate village so here we're gonna start with the pirates same guys lure 4 they're so easy to defeat now you have two skills but i suggest just focus on the ice shards there you go goal here is level 40 logi effect at 35 i guess Guys, grinding here so fast with the logi effect and the ice sword, your left click. So I suggest you stay here until you reach level 55. And at 55, you can unlock Bobby. We're going to start defeating him. So he's located here. Oh, we already have the ice bird at mastery 50. So there you go. Okay. So guys, technique here, just dash after using your skill. See that? Just dodge that skill of him. The sword slash and everything will be fine. Okay? Go. The goal here is to reach level 60, but you can start defeating the brute here. See that? Okay, effect, brute, left clicks, ice bird, ice shards. But I suggest don't use the ice search much unless you're gonna use it for last hit. Okay? Okay, next up, guys, desert. Here is the fastest island to grind. Why? Because desert bandits at level 60, guys, log is in effect. Again, door 4, defeat them, defeat them. The goal in this part is to reach level 75. Okay, so at 75, next up, your target will change. Next mob, Desert Officers. Again, Log is in effect, so no need for guides here. Just go for, defeat them. Guys, if you'll notice, I have so many candies at this point because I made a guide again. I will put the link in the description. See that? 9,000 candies. So I bought the sleigh and the Santa hat. So make sure to buy those things. Those will be helpful to you. Okay? So again, the goal here is to reach level 105. Oh, we've already unlocked our last skill, the Glacial Epoch. There you go. 105 is the goal. Stat check. 55 melee defense, 203 block food. Next up, the Frozen Village. So here, don't forget to buy the Soru, the Buso, and the Sky Jump from the ability teacher there you go and start grinding we're gonna start and end here with the yeti so fastest way is to do server hop there you go guys we cannot do that with the gorilla king because there's lots of other players there some high level players and they might bully you okay so now stat check 55 melee defense 178 block root next up marine fortress at level 130 so here we're gonna focus too with the vice admirals so guys, check this out. We're gonna focus here until we reach level 225. 
what came around 225? That's almost 100 levels. Don't worry, I can explain it to you guys. It has something to do with experience. So check this out. If you do server hop, you will get 350,000 every win from the Vice Admiral, right? No need to lure, okay? So on the next island, you can start defeating the Sky Bandits at 250, but check the experience, 250,000. At 175, Dark Masters. Same with the Vice Admiral. So I suggest just stay with the Vice Admiral, guys. No need to lure. You can also get the coat if you're lucky. There you go. So 225, stat check before we move on to our next island. Melee 80, defense 80, 513, lost food. So next up, Coliseum, 225. So we're gonna start here with the Toga Warriors. So you need to defeat 7. Lure 4, after defeating them, lure 3 to finish a quest. Let's check it out. One first skill. Let's try another skill. The bird, almost dead guys. You can use your left clicks. Or you can use your eye surge. Okay, go. Okay, so guys, goal here is to reach level 275, and by this time you have already reached uh, Logia effect. Okay, so again 275. Next up, gladiators. Or guys, I'm gonna show you. Let's defeat gladiators first. Lore four. The time defeat them. Do it this twice to level up, right? So one Z skill, one ice bird. Almost dead. Yeah, three skills guys to finish. You can grind here until 300 guys. But, or, or you can go to the prison. At 250, you can start defeating Swan. It's kinda easy to defeat, don't worry. You already have all your skills. You even have the Santa hat. There you go. So guys, 250. But you can start defeating the Warden at 200 and the Chief Warden at 225. But guys, why go here if you can only defeat one, right? There's no save point here, so it's a long walk. Or well, maybe you can use your sleigh, okay? Okay, guys. So again, the goal here is to reach level 300. So if you want, you can go back to the Gladiators. And again, reach level 300. Okay, so let's say we've reached level 300. Our next target island is the Magma Village. So here guys, we're gonna start with the military soldiers. You need to defeat 9, right? Lure 5 at a time. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Lure them near the bridge. If you hit them correctly with your skills, you only need 3 skills to defeat them. The goal here is to reach le level 330. And after that, you can now grind with the military spies. They're located here. Guys, they're so easy to defeat. I think you only need two skills. I think their HP is kinda low, but their damage is, I think, higher. Not sure with that. But I'm gonna show you one Z skill, one C skill, or even your V skill, that's enough. At level 350, you can start defeating the Magma Admiral. So just dodge this skill of it. Wait. And that one and everything will be fine. The goal here is to reach level 375. And after that, you can now go to the next island. So the One Piece fans, this is Akaino versus Aokiji, right? Ice versus Magma. Who won? You need to watch. Stat check, 100 melee defense, blocks fruit, 926. Moving on, next island, we got the Underwater City. So here, we're gonna start and end with the Fishman Warriors. We need to lure four at a time to... Guys, we're gonna skip the Fishman Commandos. They're so far apart. Let's use our skills. I think you only need three skills here to defeat them. That's two. Yeah, three skills. But guys, you can make things faster when you reach level 425. And at 425, you can start defeating the Fishman Lord. You just need to dodge the Trident. So where's that skill? That one. This boss has two uh, bars of HP. Just a reminder. The goal here is to reach level 450. There you go. Before we leave here, stat check first. 121 melee and defense, blocks fruit 1124. Next up, Skylands, a step higher. We're gonna start defeating the God's Guards. So here, this is my favorite area, guys, aside from the desert. We just need to lure four here. Guys, goal here is to reach level 525. So easy to defeat them. They don't get stuck. That's why I really love grinding here. So again, 525 is the goal. We're gonna skip the Whisper and the Shandas. We're gonna go straight to the Royal Squads. So 
to the Royal Squad, so you can lure four at a time if you want. If you're uh, feeling uh, hype up, you can lure five if you want. You just need to defeat eight. There you go. Two skills. I think two skills to defeat them. There you go. And that's it. The goal is to reach level 575, and after that, you can start defeating the Thunder God. So you only need to touch this skill. Wait, let's wait that one, and everything will be fine. So guys, when you reach this level, you can just do server hop. Go. The goal here is to reach level 625. Skill, dodge, and use your skill. Okay. So upon reaching level 625, you can now go to your last grinding island, the Fountain City. Here, we're gonna start with the Galley Pirates. We'll lure four at a time. Guys, we're gonna skip the... Uh, what do you call this? The galley captains because they have hockey and they're so far apart. Check that out, guys. Two to three skills, and that's enough. So, can we make things faster, game or not? Yes. When you reach level 675, you can start defeating Cyborg. This is the mini boss in this island. So, guys, just dodge the cannons or whatever skill is that. That one, guys. And if you dodge that, everything will be fine. You cannot be burst. Go, use skills, dodge, dodge. Guys, don't be complacent. Check this out. I almost died here. See that? But anyways, at level 7 hour, you will unlock a quest. A quest that will send you to the prison. Well, let's go to the prison. There you go. Talk to the military detective. He will then ask you to go to the frozen village, the cave. Use the key to open this door and defeat the ice admiral. So it's ice versus ice. There you go. Is it hard? Nice. You've already reached 700 and I think by this time, this Ice Admiral is easy for me. Okay? Okay. So let's defeat this Ice Admiral. And after that, what's next? Oh, we will go back to the military detective. Never mind this. Okay. Detective. And he will then permit you to go to the middle town. Look for the experienced captain. So he's located at the back. Actually, it's yeah, yeah at the back uh, experience captain there you go and this one will send you to the second scene okay guys so are we done almost done we're just gonna trade all no not all our candies I think we need like 11,000 yeah 11,000 shards so go here we're gonna take advantage of this the greedy elf for this update again we're gonna exchange shards and these four shards so again you need like 11 to 12 thousand that's enough okay there you go now we're gonna do raids ice raid we're gonna awaken all the skills so we're just gonna fast forward this okay i'm just gonna show you how much a shards you're gonna use to unlock everything so first off guys we will unlock the z skill go a session you will spend 1,000, I think, or 500. Okay, 500 for the Z skill. Okay, so make sure you have enough shards. Aside from that, you will be unlocking some titles. For the next skill, I think this is the F skill, right? Okay, there you go. For 2,000 shards, we're gonna use them later. We're gonna compare them later. For the X skill, you need 3,000. For the C skill, you will be needing 4,000. Go and the, for the la for the last skill, the V skill, you will need uh, five thousand for a total of I think fourteen five right fourteen thousand five hundred shards. Correct me if I'm wrong. So now we're gonna compare all the skills. So guys, for the unawakened, we got the ice shards. So let's look at it. That's it. For the awakened, we have the ice spears. Looks faster. There you go. One more time. There you go. For the X skill, we got the Ice Surge. There you go. So once you awaken it, I think this is the one that costs 2,000, right? For the Awakened form, we got the Glacial Surge. Boom. Looks bigger. Looks better. I think yeah, this is also stronger. <laughs> For the C skill, we got the Ice Bird, right? Ice Bird. Once it is awakened, it will turn into a dragon. Ice Dragon. Looks cool, guys. For the V skill, we got the Glacial Epoch. And for the Awakened form, we got 
the absolute zero. There you go. For the special F skill, as we get the ice skating, it really looks cool, guys. Check that out. But notice that if you're in water, you will lose your energy. But when you're inland, it won't decrease, it won't increase, okay? Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. Again, I hope that you enjoyed it. For more requests, suggestions, just comment it on the comment section. Again, guys, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom. GamerNom out.